Code of Ethics for Civil Engineers Interactive Discussion It shall be considered unprofessional and inconsistent with honorable and dignified bearing for any registered civil engineer to act for his clients in professional matters otherwise than as a faithful agent or trustee or to accept any remuneration other than his stated charges for services. Once you will be in the real world, working as a civil engineer someday, especially if you get a high-ranking position, just like those working in the government, you will really experience being bribed. Bribery usually happens if a client wanted to make their paperwork get done immediately or easily. In this manner, I hope you can still remember our discussion on this subject after you graduate so you can think twice whether to practice those kind of illegal dealings in your workplace or uphold your integrity in your profession. Now, pause the video here and think of a sample situation that could happen to you in the future considering that you are already a civil engineer that you will show you avoiding bribery. Write it down in a paper, then label it as a sample situation one. Next, it shall be considered unprofessional and inconsistent with honorable and dignified bearing for any registered civil engineer to attempt to injure falsely or maliciously, directly or indirectly, the professional reputation prospects, or business of another engineer. Talking bad against another person usually happens either in work or just within a circle of friends. As a future professional, try to avoid ruining others' reputation for your self-interest. If you want to prosper in your career, just keep doing your job well, and your hard work later on will surely pay off. Now, post a video here and think of a sample situation that could happen to you in the future, considering that you are already a civil engineer, that will show you as a good employee in the company who never talks bad against any colleague. Write it down in a paper, then label it as a sample situation too. Next. It shall be considered unprofessional and inconsistent with honorable and dignified bearing for any registered civil engineer to attempt to supplant another engineer after definite steps have been taken towards his employment. If you have the skills, it's okay to show it off to your employer by doing good job in your assigned projects. With this, promotion could be within your reach. However, no matter how tough a situation could happen when promotion will seem far yet, stepping against your co-worker to replace him from the position that he has been working on diligently is never a solution. Now, Post a video here and think of a sample situation that would happen to you in the future considering that you are already a civil engineer that will show you how clean your intentions in relation to work promotion. Write it down in a paper, then label it as sample situation 3. Next, it shall be considered unprofessional and inconsistent with honorable and dignified bearing for any registered civil engineer to compete with another engineer for employment on the basis of his professional charges by reducing his usual charges and in his manner attempting to underbid after being informed of the charges named by another. One example of this is when you get involved in a project bidding. Other civil engineering construction firms will dive into the lowest bid as much as they can 
after knowing other bidders costing, so they will win and will get the project to contract. You might be puzzled how they will know other bidders' prices. Probably, they befriended or bribed some of the staff in charge of the bidding in exchange for such information. Now, post a video here and think of a sample situation that could happen to you in the future considering that you are already a civil engineer that will show you avoiding to underbid to maintain a fair deal with others. Write it down in a paper then label it as a sample situation 4. Next, it shall be considered unprofessional and inconsistent with honorable and dignified bearing for any registered civil engineer to review the work of another engineer for the same client except with the knowledge or consent of such engineer or unless the connection of such engineer with the work has been terminated. It could either be out of curiosity for a clean purpose or bad motives, reviewing others' work without the consent of the person or your employer is never considered a good act within your workplace unless necessary procedure is advised to be done for a valid reason. Now, post a video here and think of a sample situation that could happen to you in the future considering that you are already a civil engineer that will show you how careful you are in dealing with co-workers' observation in relation to their respective jobs. Write it down in a paper, then label it as a sample situation 5. Next, it shall be considered unprofessional and inconsistent with honorable and dignified bearing for any registered civil engineer to advertise in self-laudatory language or in any other manner derogatory to the dignity of the profession. Sometimes, you need to be careful with words that you are going to use in advertising your services or profession in general. Try to avoid exaggeration so clients or employers won't see you like a boastful person. Now, post a video here and think of a sample situation that could happen to you in the future considering that you are already a civil engineer that will show you promoting your services but not in exaggeration. Write it down in a paper then label it as a sample situation 6. Next. It shall be considered unprofessional and inconsistent with honorable and dignified bearing for any registered civil engineer to use advantages of a salaried position to compete unfairly with engineers in private practice. Wherever you are working, always do a fair work. Never use your position to take advantage from others. Now, post a video here and think of a sample situation that could happen to you in the future considering that you are already a civil engineer that will show you not taking advantage from others. Write it down in a paper then label it as a sample situation 7. Next, it shall be considered unprofessional and inconsistent with honorable and dignified bearing for any registered civil engineer to act in any manner or engage in any practice which will tend to bring discredit on the honor or dignity of the engineering profession. Once a civil engineer always act like a civil engineer, it's easy to become a professional but to maintain of becoming one in every tough situation is when the hardship will start. Now, post a video here and think of a sample situation that could happen to you in the future considering that you are already a civil engineer that will show you upholding the integrity of your profession even in a tough situation. Write it down in a paper then label it as a sample situation 8. 
Now let's tackle the fundamental principles. Civil engineers uphold and advance the integrity, honor, and dignity of the civil engineering profession by First, using their knowledge and skill for the enhancement of human welfare and the environment. Second, being honest and impartial and serving with fidelity the public, their employers or employees, and clients. Third, Striving to increase the competence and prestige of the civil engineering profession and lastly, supporting the professional and technical societies of their disciplines. Now, post a video because in each of the principles, I want you to tell me as to how you will practice those personally by writing it down in a paper with a label this is how I will practice the fundamental principles. Now let's talk about fundamental canons. First, civil engineers shall hold paramount the safety, health, and welfare of the public and shall strive to comply with the principles of sustainable development in the performance of their duties. Second, Civil engineers shall perform services only in areas of their competence. Third, civil engineers shall issue public statements only in an objective and truthful manner. Fourth, civil engineers shall act professional matters for each employer or client as faithful agents or trustees and shall avoid conflicts of interest. Fifth, Civil engineers shall build their professional reputation on the merit of their services and shall not compete unfairly with others. Sixth, civil engineers shall act in such a manner as to uphold and enhance the honor, integrity, and dignity of the civil engineering profession. Seventh, and last, Civil engineers shall continue their professional development throughout their careers and shall provide opportunities for the professional development of those civil engineers under their supervision. Here is the instruction for interactive discussion. Number one. In your written age sample situations, I want you to take a video of yourself facing the camera while reading it. Save the video, upload it on YouTube under your account. Then submit the link and the corresponding section in sole platform labeled as Eight Sample Situations for Code of Ethics. Number two, for the fundamental principles, I want you to do the same but a separate video. Take a video of yourself while reading what you have written facing the camera. Save the video, upload it on YouTube under your account, then submit the YouTube link in the corresponding section in so platform labeled as This is how I will practice the fundamental principles. Number three and the last. For the fundamental canons, I want you to memorize it. Once you memorized it, record a video of yourself facing the camera. I will assume that you will do it honestly without reading or cheating as we both assume that you've memorized it. Then, save the video, upload it on YouTube under your account, then submit the YouTube link in the corresponding section in sole platform labeled as Fundamental Canons. That ends our interactive discussion. Looking forward for your output.